Welcome to MH2801 video segment on Cauchy Riemann conditions. In the previous video segments, we have looked, we have considered a, two examples of functions of a complex variable, one differentiable, one not, starting from the definitions. But as we can see from these two examples, um, checking whether a function of a complex variable is differentiable, starting from the definitions, can be quite cumbersome. So we look for a simple conditions that we can check easily to decide whether the function is differentiable. So a set of such conditions exists and they are called the Cauchy-Riemann conditions. To understand what these conditions mean, let us consider, uh, let us write let us write a function f of z as in terms of is dependent on the real and imaginary part x and y of z. And of course, because uh, f is a function of a uh, complex number, it itself can be complex. So we split it into its real parts ux of y as well as its imaginary part v, x, v of x and y. Now, let us consider approaching approaching z0 equals to x0 plus i, y0 along the x direction. Okay. If we do so, then z will be equals to x plus i y naught, and in a sense, dz is equals to dx. Okay. So if we look at say the change in the function value of f, so if you look at delta f, for example. We know that this can, this must therefore be equals to delta u plus i delta v. So a change in the real part and a change in the imaginary part. So if we take the limit, therefore, if we take the limit of a uh, delta z goes to zero of delta f over delta z this will be the same as taking the limit of delta x going to 0 of delta u over delta x plus i delta v over delta x okay so in the limit this will be equals to if the derivative of f exists it should be equals to del u over del x plus i del v over del x. Now, if the if if so, this is a big if. If d f over d z exists, then its value will not depend. on the direction along which we approach Z0. For example, if we approach along the Y direction, Then what we can say, of course, z0 is still equals to x0 plus i y0, but z will be equals to x0, x is not changed, plus i y. And therefore, dz or delta z is, will be equals to uh, i delta y. Okay, 
because if I take z minus z naught, which gives me delta z, I find that the x naughts cancel, and then I will have i y minus i y naught, which is the same as i delta y. And of course, along this, uh, for changes along the y direction, we still have a change in the function value, which we can write as delta u plus i delta v. Okay, and therefore, if the if again, let's stress again, if the f over the z exists, then what we know is that in the limit of delta z going to zero, delta f over delta z, this will be the same as limit of delta y going to zero of delta u plus i delta v divided by i delta y. Now, this should be equals to uh, 1 over i del u over del y plus del v over del y, which we can then write as del v over del y minus i del u over del y. Okay, and this is the value of the derivative if we approach z naught uh, along the y direction. But of course, we remember just one slide ago that if df over dz exists, then its value is also given also given by df over dz equals to del u over del x plus i del v over del x. So if we compare, now if we compare these two uh, expressions for df over the uh, z, we find that this is the real part, okay, if, if you will approach along y, and this is the real part if you approach along z. And these two must be equal in order for the two derivatives to be equal. And the same thing is true for the imaginary parts. Okay, therefore, if we equate these two sets of partial derivatives, we end up with the Cauchy Riemann. conditions, which is del u over del x is equals to del v over del y. Okay, that's the first of the cauchy riemann conditions. The second one is del u over del y equals to minus del v over del x. Okay, so this set of conditions we get from df over dz existing. That means the implication is this direction. The existence of df over dz implies that these sets of partial derivatives are related in this particular way. But it turns out that the uh, opposite implication is also true. Okay? but we will not show it in this uh, video segment. We will just quote it because it's already proven by mathematicians that if del u over del x is equals to del v over del y, and if del u over del y is equals to minus del v over del x, then these together imply that df over dz exists. Okay, so next we will look at two, the, the, the same two examples again, but this time round using the Cauchy-Riemann conditions to decide whether they are differentiable or not.